Today we solve another tap publishing puzzle. Although they're not the hardest puzzles around, they're, I think they're fun to solve. I've enjoyed them, and I hope you have too. These puzzles aren't rotationally symmetrical, but that isn't a prerequisite for it to be a valid puzzle. This is puzzle number 89 from PAP Publishing, Volume 31. In this puzzle, we find uh, quadruplets, and these quadruplets help us get past one point. Now, I'm going to point out where, when I see those quadruplets, and you can pause the video there and see if you can spot the quadruplets before I show them. First of all, there's only four numbers missing in row five, so let's see if we can solve that or find some numbers there. Two, let's see, we're missing two, three, five, six. There's a two, three, and a five, so that's a six. There's a two and a five, so that's a three. There's a five, so that's a two, and a five left over. And we got five, five, and there's a five right there. Now we have a uh, set of twins here. We have a three and a five there, three and a five there. So these are three, five twins. We can solve them with that five there. And we have the same situation in box nine here. Two and a nine there. A 2 and a 9 there. So these are 2 and 9, and we can solve them also. Now we have a corner pattern in box 1 and box 9, and we're going to take advantage of both these corner patterns here in a minute. Uh, we also have 2 9 there and 2 9 there, so we know. 2 and 9 have to go here in this column in box 3. We do have a 2 and a 9 in row 2, so we know these are two 9 twins, and we can solve them too with this 2 right there. All right, now we've got a 5 here, and with this corner pattern and a 5 there, we have ghost 5s there. So 5 ghost fives, and a five and a five there, so that is a five right there. And we also have a nine, nine, and nine there, so that's a nine. Okay, now at this point, uh, the puzzle gets kind of hard, and this is where I found a set of quadruplets. So if you'd like to pause the, vi the video right now and see if you can find the quadruplets before I show them. Uh, go ahead and do that. The quadruplets are in box three right here. And let's see how we got a four and a seven here that isn't in this box already. We also have th a three and a three there. So we have three, four, and we have ghost sixes right here. Remember that with the corner pattern and a six there? So six, seven. So we have three, four, six, seven. Three, four, six, seven quadruplets right there. So that means that is an eight. And once we fill in that 8, we can find all the other 8s in the puzzle. 8 here and 8 here, so that's an 8. An 8 here and 8 here, so that's an 8. Eight, eight, eight. so that's an 8 right there. Eight, eight, and eight, eight, eight. So that's an eight right there. 
I think we got all our eights now. Yep. So, all right. Now here's an interesting thing. We we have a six there. We don't have its twin yet. We're we're missing one, four, six, and seven here. Uh, one's there, so one of these has to be a one. But here's something interesting. We've got a four and a seven here, and we've got a gate pattern right here. So let's see if we can do something with that. Well, let's see. Um, seven here. So one of these is a seven. Got a four here. So one of these is a four, and one of these is a four. So we have seven, seven, seven. We have a four here, so four, four. And using double column elimination, one of these has to be a four. Um, by the way, any of these patterns and techniques like double column elimination, if you're not familiar with them, go to sudokuprimer.com and you can find um, a section on techniques and patterns out there to uh, help explain some of these things. So we actually have four seven twins right here and that makes these one six twins. So once again we have a four here so four, four, four and seven, seven, seven. So four seven twins, one six twins. All right, let's look at this. Um, what are we missing in box eight here? Well, let's see. One, three, four. One, three, four. Got a one here. So that's a one. And we got a four there. So that's a three and that's a four. All right. We've also got a three here, three here. So that's a three. Let's look at row eight. We're only missing one and six here. With that six, we can put a one there. I also m mentioned these four seven twins. So we could have found the one that way. And six there. All right. And now we've got five, six twins right there. We'll keep that in mind. One of these is a five and five, six there. All right. Now we've got a one here, one here, one here. So that's a, a one right there. All right, and now this is kind of interesting. We've got a six here. At first glance, it looks like a six can be in any of these four cells right here, because that's the only six. There's no six here. Well, we do have a um, five six twins there, so those are ghost sixes there. So six six. So one of these is a six. Oh, and remember our ghost sixes here. That means one of these is a six because this is a T pattern right here. We've got a nine there, so one of these is a nine. And a six here, or ghost six is there, so one of these is a six. So we know that is a six in box five. And notice we used three sets of ghost sixes to find that six. There, there, or there, and because of these we we know these are ghost sixes there. All right, let's see. Now we've got a, a nine here, nine, nine. So that's a nine. And we have these nines here because of this T pattern with that nine go going through here. So that's a nine right there. That makes that a four, the only number left in that bo in that column there. All right, now we're only missing two and seven here. And with that two there, we know that's a seven. All 
All right, now we have another T pattern here with that six um, here. We know we have ghost sixes there, so that can't be a six. That's a four there and a six. All right, making good progress. Let's see, with that four, we know that's a four right there. And now we can solve our four seven twins that we found. All right, let's see, we're only missing one and seven there. There's a seven, so that's a one and that's a seven. And we're missing one, two, four here. Let's see, there's a one there, so that's a one. There's a two there, so two and four. All right, now we're missing one and six there. With that one, we can solve them. Those are our six one twins that we found earlier. All right, now we're missing three, one, two, three, four, six, seven here. Six, that's six right there. Um, <clears throat> three, four, and seven, there's a three, so that's a three. So we're missing four and seven here. With that four, we can put a four there and a seven there. All right, now we're missing three, five, seven, three, five, seven there. Three and five there. Seven and three, five there. There's a three there. Now with, remember our five, six twins, we got a five there, so we can solve those. And now we've got missing a three, six, and seven there. Six, seven, so that's a three, seven there, so that's a six, and that's a seven. And we're done. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. Not the hardest puzzle. But I wanted to point out um, the quadruplets. I, I know there's another way to find this eight, but I wanted to point out the quadruplets because they're kind of hard to find sometimes. And uh, when you find them, they can really help you, um, if you're, especially if you're stuck. So I hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.